have it that is a whistle stop tour of sorrento i kind of i wasn't feeling uh, confident enough to kind of speak to camera and you know explain where we were what we were doing i was with my family i was with natalie and i just to be quite honest i was there for seven days and i really didn't want to be living life through my phone camera um i just wanted to enjoy myself and so i took the odd clip here and there and hoped that it would come together to a cohesive vlog it turns out it was five minutes so you've had a real whistle stop tour of sorrento we started off on the plane kind of flying over the alps and all the beautiful scenery we then went on a coach ride for about an hour and a half from naples airport to sorrento we got to see all of the beautiful sites highly recommend that we were driving past mount vesuvius we were driving past pompeii we kind of went along the coast all the way down to sorrento which was fantastic then we hit sorrento and we went through the beautiful little streets which you saw that are just jam-packed full of people but it didn't feel overly busy it was like little market streets and it felt really nice to um kind of just meander down and look through things and we definitely brought back a lot more souvenirs than i ever thought we would it was not like tap type of souvenirs it was a lot of useful things like really beautiful pottery and lemoncello-y things and all sorts um we definitely drank our fair share of lemoncello whilst we were there and we ate all of the wonderful food and it was just fantastic we went to pompeii and we explored pompeii ruins which were a lot bigger and more um well well preserved than i thought they ever would have been um we then you know we went to a little lagoon to swim which was really beautiful and really really remote that was kind of the last day and then we explored all the churches oh and we also went up a gondola as you saw those really lovely vast shots of the sea and vesuvius and all of that beautiful landscape was actually up a massive gondola we went up i think it was i've got it written down in here it was, it was over a thousand a 92 meters i think high gondola um on the way up i was so travel sick that i didn't know what to do with myself and then on the way back down i was absolutely fine i was able to film and do all of that sort of stuff but it was fantastic i highly recommend sorrento it is such a beautiful place i didn't actually have much time to stop and sketch the scenery or do anything like that but i do have a few pages that i thought we would explore um so let's get straight into that and i can explain why i did them so on the flight i don't know why but i kind of didn't want to do my usual sketches of the back of an aeroplane seat and things like that so i went ahead and i decided to use a reference from my phone and a couple of days prior to that we had some lovely pigeons in the garden and i sketched out that pigeon and then i used my ink tense blocks just to add a bit of pop of color a bit more abstracty and it just looks really nice and i really like it um let me bring it up a bit closer for you yeah i liked it i, I think i prefer the sketch before i added the color but anyway so then on to the more themed things you saw this in the video as well this was sitting on the um grand marina uh, marina grande in sorrento it's their old marina not their new one and we sat on the edge of a pier having a lemoncello spritz um and looking up at the beautiful scenery and i really tried to be better at picking out one building and one focal point and that's what i did here it's not actually a finished piece i'm not sure i ever will finish it i quite like this kind of rustic half finished look that i did this whilst i was there in sorrento and um was able to sit there and just experience that and that's what we did here um and i used again my intense blocks to do a wash and then i used my polychromos pencils just to add that color and that texture from that then, like I mentioned, we went up the gondola, so I could not resist and I had to do the gondola. I used my um, Winsor & Newton pigment markers that we chose the colours for um, and funnily enough, these are none of the colours that we actually chose when we did that artwork um, in the video um, a couple of weeks back. Um, this actually ended up being none of the colours we chose and luckily I brought them and it was the perfect colour for the gondola. Um, and then I stuck on the gondola ticket because I thought that was a really nice little memory to have of that trip. Um, it was very, very good, highly recommend. Um, it was beautiful yeah 1092 meters to the summit and then there were either a 45 minute um walk or a 25 minute walk to go and see the different sites and the panoramic views that you could get from the top there and then like i mentioned i ate so much beautiful food we 
obviously it's along the sea so the seafood is sublime i'm not actually the the biggest lover of seafood i probably wouldn't venture away from your usual cod haddock um prawns um and calamari i would say are probably my favorite bits of seafood but i had everything i had mussels i had clams i had uh, crab i had octopus swordfish probably a lot of fish that i would no never normally eat for conservation reasons as well but i thought this was a once in a lifetime trip that i've gone on with my family you know we i don't go often on holiday with my family and i just wanted to really explore and enjoy myself and i tried a lot of things there and this particular restaurant here um was beautiful il pozzo very very nice they had a lovely pesto pasta which I know it sounds like a student staple, but you'll never taste pesto pasta like we had there. It was fantastic. And of course, cappuccinos, the Italian coffees were fantastic as well. And this is the Marina Grande um, kind of insignia for that marina. Um, I thought it was really beautiful little logo. Then, of course, at the marina as well, there are boats, fishing boats galore. Um, and I just did a really quick sketch of one. We found this little hidden pebbly beach where there was a lot of sea glass. There was a lot of everything like that. And I found this lovely tile, um, like a like a wall tile that had been obviously lost at sea and it had kind of gone through some erosion. And I did a little etching of that and then this quick sketch in my polychromous pencils of one of the fishing boats. It's very, very simple, but I quite like that. I think it really shows off what I saw there. And then finally, so like I say, not much art going on. This, it's not quite as de deep as I wanted it to be, but this was the edge of the uh, marina. So we kind of were sat across the bay. So we were down here, sat across looking at it. And then actually round this corner is that lovely lagoon I was talking about that you saw at the end of the footage um, with the really crisp blue green waters and Natalie actually went swimming in there um and that was literally just around this corner it was a beautiful little thing and then of course I had to stick in a logo of one of the limoncello bottles we drank whilst we were there um but yeah it was a very nice place I used my uh, ink tents blocks for this with a sea sponge to kind of get that stippling effect which I think worked quite well um but yeah that's it that's all the artwork I did it's not tons and I didn't get much footage of me actually doing the artwork which is a shame but I hope you've enjoyed seeing the sights of Sorrento in a mere five minutes and I hope you've enjoyed seeing some of the artwork that I managed to achieve there hopefully I'd like to go on more holidays um, and really do a lot more plein air paintings and really capture the sights and you know do a lot more outdoor painting I think that would be a really big goal of mine to do the, the rest of this year and next year um, and I hope you join me along with that so if you're new here please consider subscribing it would mean a lot and drop me a comment if you've enjoyed the sites if you've been to Sorrento yourselves let me know where you enjoyed to visit yourself and whether you'd consider going there as well so thank you very much for watching I hope you've enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one goodbye <laughs>